So here's the equipment that I'm hoping I'm going to use for this task to redo the floor of the boat. So I've got a nice long straight edge ruler, a square, uh, various uh, markers there to um, cut out my templates etc. And that, not too sure which one I'm actually going to use, but then I've got my well, knife for cutting, some spare blades, some acetone there to clean the flooring, some wipes, and I've got three lots of the decking here. So this is the one that I've chosen. So we'll see how we go. Okay, it's time to redo the flooring, as you can see. Uh, it's old carpet, which I'm not very happy with. It collects all the rubbish, but um, it's just not very comfortable on the feet and certainly doesn't look too good on the boat. So it is time to do a new floor. First task I have here is to remove all my fittings. So I've got my toe post I need to remove. Uh, battery box holder and then I can remove my carpet Now to lift this carpet which has been sitting here for many years it's going to take an awful lot of cleaning It was, I think, originally glued down That glue has disappeared for a long, long time ago So the next task is to vacuum, uh, remove all sand, any debris, keeping the flooring nice and clean before I use the acetone wipes. I've given the floor a good vacuum. It's not 100% perfect yet. I'm going to get the acetone on there first, but I'm going to do a few measurements before I get into that just so I can get myself a bit of a plan. I have drawn a number of drawings and they keep changing to how I want this to be placed onto the deck. So but anyway, I'm going to get it into, find my centres and then I'm going to work out from there uh, what's going to be the easiest way. I prefer not to take these off. So I'm going to see if I can work around them. Okay, so that's going to be my goal. So. Measuring the centres first. So I had two plans. So what it is, is the lengths of these mats are 2.4 metres in length but it's 600 millimeters or 0.6 of a meter in width so i'm going to try and work it now i originally wanted to have this in the center the first strip thinking that was going to be the nice and easiest way but um just looking at these pedestals here that may not be uh, my answer uh, so because i'd like to get that first strip down if possible without having to trim around these pedestals, so I can have a look at that. bad so it's not the center but that's absolutely fine this is only going to need a little bit of trimming which is certainly going to help for what I have planned okay what I've done here is I've cut out the piece which um, this is where the 
toe post will go and that sits right here so what i've done is i've done my measurements getting to where i'm going to have this placed down on the deck and something i didn't sort of say uh, earlier on what i did need is tape measure and but also some dive weights very very handy to hold this mat down while i'm doing my calculations because this is my first cut i decided i wasn't going to film this just in case it didn't work out that well but i'm happy with what i've done and we'll see when i put it on how it is okay my next job is to do the acetone we're taking this three times now Child proof lid it works place that in there for now so need a couple of cloths and i want some cloths which are lint free so a cloth for placing the acetone down and another cloth for wiping it off never used this stuff before first time so we'll see so I'm currently just doing a little bit larger than the area that I need Okay, as you can see I've got the first strip down I was going to video this while I was doing it but then I decided ah, this is the first bit that I've done best I do this without having to worry about a camera so you can see what I've done there I've got that fairly tidy down the, down the end here now what I've gone and done here is I have I took out a slot um, for the toe post and then the piece that I cut out, I've placed that back in. I have cut a slot out of here. And now this is for the battery box. So the battery box is going to sit on here. You're not going to see that bit. So now it's time to clean up this part here and do the next one. Okay. I've prepped this area here and I've got it uh, nice and clean. I've actually cleaned that three times now, done all my measurements done my cutting feel a bit more confident having the camera on for this part here please excuse this big floppy hat but with my bald head it needs to be protected from sun so so I've made a cut to go around the pedestal I was hoping this was going to be easier by splitting this down the centre, starting over the pedestal.
Right, I've got the port side done now, and um, you can see that I've done that end bit there. Makes it a little bit tidier than it was. Got that around the pedestal. As you can see, where I've placed it with the battery, you can't see that slot that I cut out of it. So that looks all nice and tidy. Now, underneath where we've got the fuel tanks are going to be sitting, I was going to trim that and I've pushed that into the corners. It's not completely straight, but that's actually the fiberglass more so than the, um, the matting in that. So I can't do much about that. So I decided to have it rolled. That way there it doesn't get caught when I slide the fuel tanks in backwards and forwards in that. So I thought that's probably its best location like that there. Now, that's the other side now. Okay, as you can see, this is all complete and I'm very happy with this. And that, so hopefully this has been a little bit helpful for others who are interested in using this product. Thank you very much for watching.